English Unleashed, Storytelling, Jokes, and Vibrant Vocabulary. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's session, we are going to dive deep into an interesting and fun approach to English language learning through storytelling and joke telling. And not just that, we will specifically focus on enhancing your vocabulary and mastering idiomatic expressions in the process. So sit tight, because we're about to unleash the power of English words and phrases in the most entertaining way possible. Storytelling and joke telling are powerful tools in language learning. They are interactive, engaging, and challenging. More importantly, they allow you to immerse yourself in the language. Stories and jokes often use a rich set of vocabulary and idiomatic expressions that can help you grasp the nuances of English. The main goal here isn't just to memorize a list of words or phrases, but rather to understand their meaning, their context, and how they're used in daily conversation. Storytelling isn't just about sharing a tale, it's also about creating a picture with words. Focus on the descriptive words in the story. These are often adjectives or adverbs that add color to the narrative. Try to infer their meaning from the context. Afterwards, you can check their meanings in a dictionary to see if your guesses were correct. Jokes, on the other hand, are often built on play of words. They may use homophones, words that sound alike but have different meanings, or homonyms, words that are spelled and pronounced the same but have different meanings. Jokes can also play with the double meanings of words. This can be a fun way to expand your vocabulary and understanding of English words. English, like any other language, is full of idioms, phrases that have a meaning not deducible from those of the individual words. For example, kick the bucket doesn't really have anything to do with a literal bucket. Idioms often appear in stories and jokes because they convey vivid imagery and make the language colorful. When you encounter an idiomatic expression, try to guess its meaning from the context. Then look it up in an idiom dictionary to confirm your understanding. With time, you will start recognizing and using these idioms in your own conversations. Now let's get practical. Here are some activities you can do. 1. Story retelling. Choose a short story or a joke. Read it carefully and pay attention to the new vocabulary and idioms. Then, retell the story or joke in your own words. Try to use as many new words and idioms as you can. 2. Create your own story, joke. This is a more challenging task. Create your own story or joke using a set of vocabulary and idioms. It could be a funny story about your day or a made-up tale. The aim here is to practice using new words and idioms in a creative and meaningful way. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use these words and idioms, the more familiar they will become. And that's a wrap for today's session, folks. Remember, mastering a language is a journey, and it's the journey that matters, not the destination. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and keep learning. Stories and jokes not only make this journey fun, but they also make it rich and enlightening. So go ahead and tell a story, crack a joke, and watch your English skills grow. Until next time, happy learning.